Hello everyone, I'm Nico Suarez, tech supporter of Roland Pro AV, and I will introduce you to the version 2.0 of the VR50 HD Mark II. Like the Mark I, the VR50 HD Mark II has become a standard audio and video mixer incorporated environment. You can find it in meeting rooms, hotel venues, trade shows, product presentations, and sometimes these environments can be challenging, especially in regarding the audio. For that, we just developed some tools that will help you to improve the audio quality of these type of events. Also, the VR50 HD Mark II is an all-in-one solution for situations that require streaming, and these new audio tools will help you to deliver a better audio quality over the internet. These three new functions are called Adaptative Noise Reduction, Loudness with Automatic Gain Control, and Auto Leveler. Let's have a look. First, let's find these new tools. For that, you have to press the menu button and everything related to the audio is on the left part of the screen. These new functions are under the AQ and Dynamics button. You have to press it and then you have to reach the third page by clicking here on the arrow. These controls are everything related to this version 2.0 update. First of all, we find a low frequency cut which is the very first thing we have to turn on if the contents we will deliver don't have any low frequencies, as spoken words or speeches. We have to avoid this feature just in case you need to play a video or music with vast content on it. After that, we can jump into the noise adaptive reduction control. Basically, the unit will detect when somebody is speaking and when there is silence. You can do this manually using the sense knob on the lower part of the window or the auto learn function turning on the button here. Once you set that, you select the amount of background noise you want to erase using the control depth. The minimum depth is zero, meaning that the tool is not working at all. At the maximum is 127, which means that we are eliminating the maximum background possible. Let's hear three examples. First with background noise, second with hum noise, and third with white noise. If you have headphones, please use them so you will notice this effect much better. Thank you very much for attending today's program. Please remember to take all of your belongings with you as you leave. Thank you very much for attending today's program. Please remember to take all of your belongings with you as you leave. Thank you very much for attending today's program. Please remember to take all of your belongings with you as you leave. Let's talk now about the loudness with auto gain control. First, let's clarify what means loudness. Loudness refers to the subjective perception of sound levels. In other words, loudness control will help you to deliver content where the levels feel equal with all the different sources. Most loudness application measures ponderate levels in K curve, which simply means that we focus on the mid and high frequency range, where the voice exists. Broadcasters and platforms have a target of loudness levels for the content to feel equal in sound levels by the viewers. You can investigate the loudness target of the platform you use. As an example, let's assume that the platform you want to deliver the content has a target loudness level of minus 14 LKFS, which is a very common value. In the VR50 HD Mark II, you simply have to select your loudness target level, in our case minus 14 dBs. After that, you simply have to turn the tool on here on top. You also have a sensitivity control. This sensitivity control means that when it's towards zero, the tool is not operating at all. Meanwhile, when it's towards higher levels, means that it's operating in full capacity. In my experience, it's better to have lower levels when you are doing events on the room and higher level of sensitivity when you are delivering this content through internet. Finally, we have the auto leveler. In combination with the loudness control, if you have an event that combines audio coming from different sources that play videos with different audio levels, the auto leveler might be a good effect to have on. This will help you to maintain the same audio levels over the production. Again, this can be very noticeable, so you have controls for 0 to 127 to apply this function. Let's see an example. And in this case, we're going to set it to JVC. No. So if it's different on your camera, you'll need to change it on the VR50 HD to match it. We'll Simply go back a page and press the star button and the new slot that I want to see. Preset button 
and you'll see it will go back to the original shot. As you just saw, these functions will help you to deliver professional audio in your events and streams. But the update also expands the number of models and protocols of PTZ cameras that the VR50 HD Mark II can control. The 2.0 firmware update files and procedures for updating can be found in our website, roland.com.